Be me on drive home from work today. On the sidewalk see a sexy brown girl in tight jean shorts and a crop top. Checking her out getting hard. Pass her and see that she has a mustache. My face when. Be 17 on family summer vacay at expensive beach resort. Best friend comes with us. Mostly lie out and throw football on the beach. Two girls keep trying to join and go in the ocean every time we do. Say they're in high school but obviously lying. We agree they're too young but we're also horny. Couple days in, friend tells me he's been snapping one of them. He makes a plan to meet them after dinner and hit his THC vape. There's a makeshift fire pit down the beach and we make a fire and all get high. He goes for a walk in the dunes with one of the girls. Me and other girl immediately start making out. Back at the room we compare notes and agree not to tell anyone. Next day is our last, and we all say hi at breakfast, and go back to our families. Weeks later he says they're still snapping. Shows me a screenshot of her first day of 7th grade story. Be me, openly gay. At school. This homophobic chud, doesn't really like me cause him gay and messes with me pretty frequently. He's holding the door for me. I walk through. He slams the door in my face as a joke, not enough to hit me but enough to make me flinch. Don't flinch. Chud says something along the lines of sorry I. I was. I was trying to. Ignore him. Spit out the sweetest, thank you. That I can muster up. Walk away. Chud stops, doesn't mess with me for the rest of the year. It's the little things, Annans. Be me, 16 male. Friends with a petite brunette. She's an easy 10 out of 10. I fell in love with her. She comes out as lesbian. Whatever. JPG. I help her find a girlfriend. We remain good friends. Fast forward to this year. Her girlfriend dumped her. I console her. We go to prom together. She asks me to dance. I slow dance for the first time in my life with her. Happiness.jpg She says she thinks she might be bi. And wants to date me eventually. Okay.jpg We don't talk the rest of prom night. These seniors are shocked that I made a lesbian fall for me. Is this a win? My computer the bed. Friend loans me a spare laptop. Boot it up. Realize another friend of a friend still has their email logged in on web browser. Schizo dude who previously borrowed spare laptop. What do? Decide to send him an email from his future self. Tell him not to leave the house on this date one year from now. Can't say what but something very bad will happen. Log out of email. Figure I'll hear about it later in passing. Use spare laptop for a while until replacement PC arrives. Return laptop to friend. Don't want to mention joke and spoil it. About a year passes. Forget all about prank email. Friend says schizo acquaintance has been acting even weirder than usual. Schizo dude won't leave his house until a certain day passes. Won't say why. Suddenly remember prank email. Oh sh What have I done? Yet I still keck. I do not post on here so forgive me for any of the taboos or don't do's that I commit here. Seen green text before and I think I know how to do it, and it feels right to use in this situation, given the gravity and awkwardness of what I have learned. I need to post this somewhere, because I know I can't tell my mom, or she would lose her Be me, country from Texas. Spending time with grandpa and great uncle. Sometimes gets awkward because of the massive age difference between me and the two old men, but I want to talk to them because I know I won't have them forever. Think of something to talk about with them. Remember both were in the military. Great uncle was in the Navy and also the younger sibling, so grandpa calls him a swabby and a Start asking them about the they had abroad, because that gets them into an uplifted mood that they rarely have because nostalgia. Great uncle talks about the women in Vietnam in port cities let military men do whatever for a few bucks. Laughs and says he isn't like their cousin Bill because he didn't get anyone pregnant and have a kid. 
I laugh and ask my grandpa if I have any aunts or uncles or cousins in Korea that I need to know about. He quickly says no and looks at me. Pa there is no way you didn't get any mud on your turtle, hick talk for getting while you were in Korea. Just dead once. My face when I have to act like I didn't just hear that. I don't know what to do with this info. Maybe he meant that another way. He is 87 and forgetful. You have reached the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more green texts like these.